What's up, freaks? It's Steve Ecker from Peak Physique. Personal training, boot camp, and boxing in Nanuet and Suffer, New York, and also the mentorship business coaching group Mastermind out in California. This is Steve Says, episode number 71. Today we're talking about the D word. The D word. Sometimes you need to survive, sometimes you are it to help others survive. I'll let that sink in while I pull you up on the second screen. If you have any questions, comments, remarks, you want to discuss the D word, I'm pulling you up there so your comments can stream live here on Steve Says episode number 71. And we are up. Sound check. We are good. Let's roll. Steve Says episode number 71. You know how it goes. Some people will hate, but most can relate. We're bringing the fucking fire every second of every second on here on Facebook Live. The D word. Do you have enough of this D word in your life? Are you getting enough of the D word in your life? Do you step up and give out this D word when others need it? And then do you pay it forward and reciprocate when someone gives you some of the D word? Are you giving some back to other people, to the community? Let that, let that good stuff sink in while you figure all that out. As I just tell you a little more about Steve Says. As you know, Steve Says is a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy obstacles preventing success in your health, your family, your finances, so that you, you can stop being a little bitch, start living life on your own fucking terms, and get your shit together. It's all about adapting and overcoming, trusting the process, and of course, making no excuses. Listen, the D word, the D word, we're talking about it. It, whoever's watching here live, let's see, can, can you figure out what that D word is? You need some of it. You need some of it in your life. You need to be it sometimes. It's the D word. We're going to keep it moving. Give you a second as I take a sip over here. All right, so the D word. Let's, I'll, I'll even give you some, some clues and some hints. To ward off attack from or to guard against an assault or an injury. To maintain by argument, evidence, or to uphold. This also can mean to support an argument or a theory in the face of criticism or to prove the validity of something and by answering arguments and questions put by a committee of specialists. Now that part we're going to get back to in a second. That part is important. We're talking about a defender. You need to be a defender and sometimes you need a defender. We're going to break it down. What's a defender? A defender is a protector, a sponsor, a supporter, a guardian. It could also mean maintain, preserve, prevent, to shield, or to fortify. So you can see how you need this in many areas of your life, but you also, you, if you're watching this, I expect that, that you probably are the defender in most areas of your life. But there are times of vulnerability where you also need a defender to help you out. To me, the, the freak, the, the peak freak definition, the Steve says definition of defender is basically to fight for what you believe, to fight for your people, to fight for good versus evil. Sometimes the, to, the defend, to defend the best is by attack. Sometimes to defend the best is to ignore. Sometimes to defend the best is just to be fucking successful. And oftentimes... The best way to defend is just to continue to be fucking awesome and marching forward towards your goals, towards your vision. That's how you defend. But how do you become a defender? You have to have thick skin, right? You have to be tough. You have to have already probably put in your reps with adversity and with bullshit and scumbags and all that other stuff and with tough situations. But listen, you need to sometimes be the sponge. Be the sponge. Soak up all the bullshit. To, to protect the people that you lead or the people that you guide, the people you work with, the people in your family. Sometimes you just have to be that sponge to soak it in so it, it can filter it away from your kids or your family members, your coworkers, the people you lead on your freaking team. The ultimate defender, when I think of the word defender, I think of United States Marine. You know that the, the final step of joining the Marine Corps, before, before taking off for boot camp, which I did now in 1997. Holy shit, that was a long time ago. 1997. So the, the final thing you have to do is 
you, before is you have to be sworn in by repeating an oath. If you're enlisted or officers, there's an oath. In the oath, all, all new Marines are all about to become or about to attempt to become Marines because you're not a Marine until you finish that boot camp and actually complete boot camp. But just in order to ship out to boot camp, you do have to repeat an oath. You have to be sworn in by repeating this oath. And it's an oath to promise, defend, and uphold the Constitution of the United States and to adhere to disciplinary standards, accept orders from superiors, and vow to face the uniform code of military justice if, if any disputes come up. So here's the oath. Here's the Marine Corps oath. It's, I do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against enemies, foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and that I will obey orders of the President of the United States and orders of the officers appointed over me according to the regulations of the and, the and the Uniform Code of Military Justice, so help me God. Now that's the oath of the Marine Corps in defending freedom. Defending defending the right for people to sit around in their fucking tidy whities eating their Cheerios, their little cheese doodles in mommy's basement with the crumbs up on your belly, or whatever you need to do, or if you're a peak freak and watching this, you're eating your egg whites in the morning with, with your Greek yogurt, right? So now defend. What's a defender? A defender could be physically, it could be mentally, it could be emotionally, it could be socially. Now I want to backtrack a second. In, in the definition of defend or defender, one of them was to support an argument or a theory in the face of criticism to prove the validity of by answering arguments and questions put by a committee of specialists. So think about that. When it comes down to certain things in your world, in your life, in, in, in your circle, especially on fucking Facebook, right? And dumb shit go, is out there. You know what man's best friend is since like 19, 1998, whenever the fuck Facebook came out, is the block button. That's a defender right there. That's how you defend against fucking dumbasses and scumbags on social media. Block button. Deleted from your mental space, right? You don't need that shit in your mental space. Your, your family, your co-workers, your friends. That's why you're the defender. You're the sponge. You're the filter. You're blocking it out. And eventually fortifying a wall around that bullshit, right? So if it's not a legitimate source, the defense is just fucking ignore it. Keep moving, marching forward, and keep being fucking awesome. There's no need to even validate anything. If it's not an official source, legitimate reason, you know what I mean? So that's why the, that, that, that actual definition was a, a, a committee of specialists. So some douchebag running around on, on the internet that wants to talk shit about you, listen, you block, you move on, and you just keep being fucking awesome. It's as simple as that. That's how you're a defender of that shit. That's how you roll forward on that stuff. So the Marine Corps is the defender, literally the defender of freedom, defend of, defender of our rights, right? So de defend can be physically, mentally, emotionally, socially. In most things... We talk about being selfless and thinking about other people first, putting, uh, putting the mission above the man, right? When it comes to defending, here's the crazy thing. You need to fucking defend yourself first. Defend mainly, not, not yourself physically, I'm not talking about, limit your thoughts and your emotions. Defend, be a defender of your thoughts and emotions. Be a defender of the thoughts and emotions of people around you. What you allow into your mental space. You don't have to let any one, anyone else's bullshit or negativity to rent space in your brain, in your mind, in your thoughts, in your fucking emotions, in your bones, in your DNA. You don't have to allow it. Be the defender to that. Yes, sometimes you have to be the sponge and you have to eat shit just to protect other people because you are the defender sometimes. Sometimes you need people to defend you. That's fine too. It's fine. That's what a team is. That's what a team is. That's what a family is. That's what a bunch of peak freaks are. But you need to defend what you allow into your mental space. Defend that shit with your life. And break that rule for no one, for nothing. Then you need to, of course, defend your family from harm and stress. And that same mental bullshit negativity. Defend your team, your teammates. If you're a leader, if you're, a leader you're going to need to be that sponge sometimes. You're going to have to soak it in. You're going to have to tough it up. But you probably already built those reps of your your mental armor, entrepreneurial armor, 
ad adversarial armor, you probably built that up already. So you don't even have to worry about it. And you, you could soak it in a little bit. But you're gonna most of it's gonna bounce right off. You're just gonna keep marching on. Marching on like a motherfucker, of, with full of positivity, straight towards your goals, straight towards the finish line, straight towards victory and freaking domination. Now, in all these cases, you need to help and defend. Use it a lot of times people against themselves. That's what you use as defending against. We're not talking about physically defending. Of course, as a defender, we're talking, you know, a, a bully in, in elementary school. Sometimes you have to be a physical defender. Sometimes in a, a, a situation, of course, you always have situational awareness. Your head is always on a swivel. You're always paying attention to everything going on around you. And that's when you're talking about physical defense. We're talking about a little more of a mental game here. The inner defense. The inner defender. You need to defend, help people defend them against themselves. Because at first you need to defend yourself. If there's people who can't defend themselves mentally, that's up to you. If you're a leader, if you, you have a family, you have kids, if you, you have teammates on your team that you need to work together to help you succeed. It's up to you to defend them against self-doubt, anxiety, wasting their time, procrastination, lying, bullshit, gossiping, or even the worst, defend them against wasting their potential. It's fucking, it, it, wasting potential is one of the most disgusting things out there. Because people can't defend themselves against themselves mentally. And they just break, break themselves down. That's your job. You've been there, you've done that, you've built up that armor, that mental and emotional armor to be able to then pay it forward. That's why I said sometimes you need the D, sometimes you have to pay forward the D. Because listen, it's your duty, it's your freaking obligation as a leader. It's your duty and obligation to, if you have a family, if you have a team at, at work, at, with coworkers, even your neighbors. It's your duty as a fucking human to be a defender. To allow other people to defend you. Sometimes you need to be defended, sometimes you need to be the defender. So stop waiting for that, that knight in shining armor sometimes to come out and, and, and with the white, on the white horse and to come and save the day and come and save you and defend you. Sure, sometimes you need to defend him, but sometimes you need to step up. Put your big boy fucking pants on and step up. Because listen, there's no knight in shining armor on a white horse coming to save you most of the time. Sure, your team, your family's going to defend you, but it's up to you to step up half the time. Stop waiting for that superhero to come flying in on his cape and save the day. Come to realize... You need, to, you need to come to realize and need to realize that you are capable of defending your mental thoughts and your mental space against the bullshit, the drama, the lies, the hate, the negativity, all the bullshit that's out there on the news and on social media. It's up to you to defend yourself from that. It's up to you to defend your family from that, your, your team members, your coworkers, if you're a leader, the people you lead. It is you. It's up to you. It's your duty and obligation. And then to realize that you, yourself, and your people are capable of a shitload more than you give yourself credit for. So you need to come to realize that you are the knight on that white fucking horse coming in to save the day. You are the fucking super peak freak superhero. You're capable of so much more once you start defending yourself, defending your emotions from the bullshit around you and the scumbags around you. And listen, when it comes down to it, I just told you the oath that we swore in as a Marine. When it comes down to it, all those scumbags, all those backstabbers, sure, you could go on Facebook, you could block, delete, remove them. When it comes down to it, as a Marine, it's still my duty and obligation to defend you. That's what I do. Even those, the backstabbing scumbags. I don't let it invade my mental space. I'm me. I know who I am. I go forward. This is what we do. We help people. We change lives. We defend freedom. We our freedom. The role, you role model away. So I'll still defend you. I will still help you out. I am still here to help. Realize you are the super fucking hero on the white horse in shining armor. Just picture all that. A freaking Batman on a white horse with a fucking tin can over his head with a shining armor coming in to save the day. And then when he flips up the mask, you know who it is? It's fucking you. You're the superhero. Realize that shit. And you, the way you could live that out is defend yourself against all that bullshit around you. Not let it break into you. So you could step up and be that leader. Be that defender you're supposed to be. Because you are fucking awesome. No excuses.